this is a setup for a nor'easter. Doesn't mean we're going to see a nor'easter. I've said this before, and I was talking about it on stream last night. If you get a low pressure system that's too far inland, it's all rain for the coast. It's too far out to sea, it's dry for the coast. You really need the perfect storm track. So when I tell you this is a nor'easter setup, I mean it, but you still need a little bit of luck with your storm track. You can see what happens here as we get into the 15th and 16th. Our storm system begins to move up the coast. We have the cold air along the coast. We have the storm system. On this run of the Euro, the storm system is too far off the coast. Now we keep moving forward here. We get some snow, and this is getting into next weekend or late next week into next weekend. We get some snow flying up there in the upper Midwest Great Lakes region, and we have another opportunity here. We have another storm system trying to move through the south, up the coast, some more cold air diving in. This is an opportunity here as well, 18th, 19th, a little bit far out, 9, 10 days out, but we've continued to see this pattern, so we'll talk about it a little bit. I usually don't like going this far out. Again, this is an opportunity for some snow in the south where we get this Bear Clinic boundary forming. You get a low pressure system with moisture moving up the coast. You get cold air, our 540 line driving out towards the coast. This is a very interesting time frame. Don't pay attention to where the precipitation is on the map out this far. The models have no idea where the precipitation is going to be, but pay attention to the fact that we have cold air driving into the Gulf, driving down towards the Atlantic, and we have a little bit of a active subtropical jet. We have moisture available there. So very interesting time frame. I'd say all the way from January 14th through January 22nd, what happens with these troughing systems and all this moisture? Because we could see some good snow for someone in the South or out East. Here's how the GFS sees it. You can see we have an opportunity here around the 14th, 15th. There's our storm system moving up the coast, cold air. You get another opportunity here. The GFS does see kind of a mini type of nor'easter here for New England. England, putting some good snow potentially down into Boston, up through Vermont, New Hampshire, and into Maine. Here's how the Canadian sees it. The Canadian does see this storm going up the coast and then maybe dropping some snow from DC up through Boston. This is probably the closest look to a nor'easter that we're seeing right here from the Canadian. And then if we take a look at our graph cast, I just want to show you the graph cast has these storm systems driving up the coast with that freezing air pushing down into the Gulf and pushing out towards the Atlantic as well. And then it also agrees with the Euro that we have another trough following behind that with some moisture available as well. So again, an active time frame as we get into late next week and late next weekend something exciting could happen. I'll continue to watch. Again, we don't know. We don't know. We, it's outside of forecasting range. We don't know who's going to see precipitation, who's going to see rain, who's going to see snow. But what we do know is the models are starting to agree. The ensembles are starting to agree. And the pattern looks favorable for one or two good winter storms here.